Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith along with Morgan. Hello everybody. And we're glad to be with you this Saturday and this Saturday we are going to be talking about backyard remodeling and you know it's getting hotter out there but it's also got some wonderful opportunities for you and if you're thinking you'd like to go ahead and make that decision or get some ideas well hopefully today's show will help you even on things that you might want to do to make it uh, climatize it and make it make it actually a lot more comfortable to be outdoors mm -hmm. so we like being outdoors typically uh, but we need to control a few things like direct heat and uh, we want to we want to be able to bring that wonderful environment be surrounded by a beautiful environment and today we're going to talk about the multiple ideas the plethora of ideas really that you can enjoy in your backyard and most of these projects KM Builders does so if you're interested in us coming out and visiting you about your project we would be glad to talk to you about it we do have designers both architectural and the interior type designers for all of the projects and there's those are the ones that handle the finishes and um, all of the details and Morgan is in charge of that department in our company mm -hmm. and Bob is in charge of the architectural department in our company so what a nice uh, overlap of these two managers so that you get the best of both worlds in architecture and in interior design even on outdoor projects mm -hmm. so when you think of outdoor projects Morgan what do you think you that the they would that most people are thinking they would like to do first what do you think of I think the basic one is is putting in a patio and a patio cover and there's so many different levels of that, but that's at minimum what they want. Something where they can put some nice furniture out and eat outside when the weather's nice. And uh, like you said, sun protection. So shading, also maybe even screening it in for mosquitoes, because we actually do a lot of those, or some of them, but people love and closing their patio in with screens so that way they still feel outside, but have zero mosquitoes. That's exactly right. So when you talk about patios, you know, typically it can be a deck or a uh, concrete. Normally we call those the concrete was around here. This part of the world, we say that's patio if it's concrete. <laughs> yeah. If it's a if it's wood, it's a deck. Mm -hmm. But patios are on fronts of homes and on backs of homes. And most people are going to be asking us to do something on the back of the side of the home. The front ones are typically more decorative unless you're talking in the country where people sit out of their front porches and enjoy their views and the cows and so forth from there. But uh, so let's focus on the back patios, like you were saying, concrete. Mm -hmm. But uh, we do all kinds of decks and sometimes, uh, you know, which people will ask, well, which should I do, a deck or a patio, a uh, concrete patio? And a lot of it has to do, if you're looking at it from an economic standpoint, if it's real high off the ground, it's gonna save you money to do a deck. Mm -hmm. And if it's low to the ground, like really close to the ground, it actually costs less to do that with concrete because it's hard to build a deck against a ground. If you have to remove the ground to get the deck in it, it's really a lot of work. So, so that's one of the things you might wanna keep in mind. Mm -hmm. now, so if your back door is like really low, there's no step down to get to the ground. Yeah, if it's all running into the mm -hmm. ground, you're gonna be better off staying with concrete. Now, when we're talking about the, the concrete patio though, there's a multitude of options on how to finish that out, such as stained concrete, stamped concrete and stained concrete, mm -hmm. um, tile, flagstone, exactly you can do uh, pavers mm -hmm. and they have a, what's called a thin set paver and, uh, and a lot of you know that you can do pavers without concrete you just put a base material down it's a lot harder than you think and to get that really firm and compacted to last for at least a decade or more you're gonna have to do a lot of work but most people don't do it so it only holds up for a few years the water gets in it starts shifting and it's just not pretty for very long mm -hmm. I don't recommend that method for amateurs <laughs> and actually in most situations you pay a little more and just put it on top of concrete you can have that beautiful look but it won't shift around anymore and we've got some nice ways that you can even do sanded pavers lock them in uh, you can pour concrete footings and so forth that way also but uh, yeah there's a lot of different toppings for your concrete even if you go with regular concrete, just let it go ahead and gray and eventually turns white. 
uh, sealers are important too. So if you're going to do a broom finished concrete, use a very light broom for traction. You never want to do it slick, but um, you want to go ahead and seal that concrete so that it doesn't get stains on it. Mm -hmm. And if you get oak pollen or something like that, you're going to see that that uh, this will wash right off if you have a good sealer on it. And you maintain that sealer, maybe one coating per year, and it's really quick to do. Just clean it and then put a coating on it every year, and you'll, you'll have a, a really clean, beautiful patio. Mm -hmm. And so... And it's very low maintenance, unlike yeah, the... That's the lowest the maintenance. Uh -huh. yeah. The deck is going to take more maintenance if mm -hmm. you use real wood. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to stain it unless you use... Composite. Composite or... If you want to go the exotic hardwoods, uh, the hardwoods are really, uh, they don't have to be exotic, but uh, hmm. several different wood species are available like the Ipe, and there's several different types of wood that you can use. And that does not have to be maintained because it's so hard, it just turns gray. Hmm. It lightens up and turns gray. Some of them have some different tones in them, different, different uh, species of wood. But that is a beautiful deck. Highly recommend that one, but it does cost more. And so do the composites. Now, one of the advantages of, of the real wood over the composites is they're not going to be eaten by the type we're talking about, the hardwoods, are not going to be eaten up by insects, and they're going to be cooler to the touch. Yeah, we have a client who installed some composite as a COVID project themselves, and we were going to match it and put it on handrails, and they said, no way, it's too hot. Yeah. They we have can't to have put shoes. it on the handrails. We, we, we have to have gloves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so be careful about composites. It can be really, especially the dark colors, are super hot. Yeah. If they're not partially shaded, you might want to think twice about using composites. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that's that's one of the things we can do. So you can do the, the patio concrete or the deck. And then, of course, like you said, putting covers on it. Now, people mess up on those. I just did a show recently about patios and covers mm -hmm. and how often they mess up on the design. But you want those to be high, you want to cut off the overhangs. And then, like Morgan was saying, there's options on closing them in. Uh, screened in porches are just wonderful in Texas. Yeah, and they you really can, are. You can have the, actually the fans will work better mm -hmm. if, you, if it breaks down some of that wind. Uh, you may think, well, that's counterproductive, but no, it's actually more consistent. Yeah. Rather than sometimes you can feel the fan and sometimes you can't. You'll feel them more, and they'll do a better job in more of an enclosed room. If you take an indoor fan, for example, and it works good in a room, and you take it outside, it doesn't work at all on indoor fans. So that just shows you how how uh, having it more enclosed with even with screens can make a big difference. Of course, you can go to the to the extent of having windows on your patio too, and there's two types that we we can do. One of them is a is a window that's standard like you see on your home and then there's a vinyl type window that's very very lightweight and a fraction of the cost and we can offer you those types of panels they're they're just like windows but they're very very lightweight and, and less expensive and, and a lot of people would like those on their homes i think and uh, you can have a keep it warm keep your heaters warm heat, warm it up a lot better in the winter time and so this, these are just some of the things you can do on your patios. We're going to talk about cabanas with multiple use. We're going to talk, talk about uh, just fire pits and so forth that we can do whenever we come back. But before I do, I want to talk about something that's personal to me, and that is hair. Hair, which I was, I'm losing, and I'm trying to fight that. So if you're, if you're like me and you would like to get more of your original hair back on your head, then uh, go to Lemmer Hair Transplant Center like I did. Now they have multiple types of options and you know for everything from prescriptions to topicals to uh, robotics, robotics and then the typical and then also you can go with the traditional surgery for hair transplant. And so if you'd like more information please look up my friends at LemmerHTC.com. The customer service there is incredible. Go call 210-496-9992, 496-9992, or lemmerhtc.com, and we'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show, and we are talking about backyard remodeling. There's so many things you can do out there. 
Uh, we've talked about patios and covers and you know the right way to build one is very important. Even the material you choose for your deck, for your concrete patio, can make mm -hmm. a difference on whether you're going to want to be out there or not and how hard it is to maintain. Yep. And I was thinking too, you know, before we leave this subject of bringing the outdoors, uh, have being, you know, be enjoying it. Also, don't forget to bring the outdoors in. So, you know, you've seen these big patio door systems we've got. Yeah, tell, I noticed that down. Tell, tell a little about what you've seen. So you can have almost wall-to-wall -wall openings with gorgeous windows or a door system. That, that connects the two. Mm -hmm. And so you see outside, your gorgeous outside that you took so much pride and work in, you can see it all the time, the big views, or you can open it up wall-to-wall -wall in like an accordion-style door that nests at one end, and so people can just flow in and out of your house into the outside area especially if you have a screened-in patio, yeah. and then you really are opening it up back and forth, which is, we put in a screened-in patio in one uh, house, and now we're making the entrance to the back of the house bigger for that reason. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a natural combination of projects, mm -hmm. and just one complements the other so yes. well, you'll probably want to at least consider it when you're doing your patio, or maybe like you said, uh, on another project later on. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, these are great, great, uh, stunning projects that add a lot of bang for buck. We're putting in a couple of these sliding systems, uh, three slide, mm -hmm. in uh, in our showroom. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to have a couple of those in our new in our new conference rooms because they're so practical. We wanted you to see them, and they're really not that expensive until you start getting into the huge sizes. Mm -hmm. But uh, even those are very, very worth it. I think it's it's worth it. And it makes your house actually feel bigger. Yeah, it actually does. You feel like you added <clears throat> square footage. Yep. And then, of course, you can convert that that patio into real usable space in a party. Yeah, and, uh, and it just, just flows mm -hmm. so naturally. Yeah, so you know, get some fly zappers on the outside, and you'll be able to do it longer. And yep. there's a lot of things you can do to control insects from coming in, even fans that blow away from the the opening. Mm -hmm. so that's what you see uh, uh, lots Two of flies. commercial places. Yeah, and it does work. So. Uh, and then, of course, misting systems, uh, air conditioning outdoors that use use water and it vaporizes before you even get out, before it touches your skin. It cools the water. It can actually cool the temperature uh, effectively by 20 degrees in some. If it's real humid, it's going to be about 10. But if it's if it's not too humid, you can drop it by 20 degrees. Wow. And so it's kind of like that feeling after a rain comes mm -hmm. and you feel how everything cooled down. That's that feeling you get from these air conditioning systems. So that's but, nice. Yeah, those those are really really cool. The other thing, since we're on that topic of creating entrances into the house, is when you have a pool. One of the things that you consider is, well, where's my closest bathroom? Mm -hmm. And the closest bathroom may not be the most accessible through the house. So some people might consider putting in a an opening from the outside to that bathroom so that way it becomes an easier accessible pool bath or to the room that has the bathroom right on that side of the house. Yeah, and a lot of times you just put the door in yeah. and uh, that's really all we have to do. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes there's a window there or something we have to take out or, or we have to do a little remodeling on the bathroom to get that to work. But it is really worth considering, uh, especially when so many people have pools now and want yeah. pools. And so don't forget to include your remodeler if you're doing a pool. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking of pools, cabanas are really nice. Yep. And we can we can talk to you about cabanas all day long. We can <laughs> we can do so many different. And I really like the combination cabana uh, with which you know kind of a bar look that faces the pool, and then on the back side you have storage. Maybe or, even a bathroom. Even a bathroom, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or in some cases you have a little office on the back side. Mm-hmm. Some cases your cabana is your office. It doubles as your office because cabanas can be enclosed too. Mm -hmm. You can use the garage doors with the glass in them and open them up. And yeah, then like they have it like 54th Streets and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Like lots of pubs and, mm -hmm. and outdoor bars and grills have those. When they close it up for a couple of reasons, they, they protect all the furniture, they can protect the building, no one can enter it. And so it's very, very practical to have it close up like that. Mm -hmm. with uh, large overhead doors and um, and you know and also you know you can get some use out of it even in inclement weather mm -hmm. and if you like to have a, a, 
an office space that can be either one, you know, be looking out at your pool or you can open it, you can close it up if it's bad weather and you can still see your outdoors. That's a, that's a, that's another benefit. You might even be able to deduct it for your business and have that pool cabana and make it a tax write off because it's your office. At least half of it, you know, if you, if you do it right. And uh, if you, if you, if you do it right, you can deduct all of it. <laughs> so, so don't, don't be, uh, close-minded about what you can do with a cabana slash storage. Um, you know, I love thinking of it right next to the pool or a beautiful landscape that you have where you can see it uh, next to a deck, next to a an outdoor fire pit. Mm -hmm. And so you can have those in close proximity to each other. Maybe you don't want the maintenance of a pool, but you've got an outdoor fire pit and you've got a cabana next to it so you can you can get out of the rain if you want to, or barbecue and pull out of the rain, have people outdoors, but still covered from the rain. And rain is something that just messes up a lot of parties. <laughs> and, and if you don't have that prepared for that and just take that extra step to prepare for it, then you know, you're gonna be limited in your use of these. Mm -hmm. The one thing we all need though is shade. Yes. And that's what your outdoor cabana can do. You can do that again with patios and covers. Uh, gazebos are another thing that we, that people like. They can be very, very decorative. Mm -hmm. And and so you don't have to be limited to the design. We can come up with a design for you on cabanas, patio covers, gazebos. And gazebos are nice when you have an extra large backyard that you want a separate little area. Yeah. And so very cute. So why not? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, put a bridge going to it, a little yeah. pond and a little a little uh, uh, moat or something mm -hmm. between it. So there's all kinds of fun things you can do to your backyard. Just do a little project or a big project every year and it's gonna be paradise. Yeah. Uh, I wanna mention something that can help you with your paradise, backyard paradise, and that's BioGreen. Joe Cacino has really made our yard just look incredible. And I get the credit for it whenever mm -hmm. people go see it because I cut it and my wife does the flowers and so she gets the credit for that but the rest of the grass and so forth is just looking incredible. He's like your secret weapon. He is, he's a secret <laughs> to everybody, <laughs> all my neighbors, but he's not a secret to you. <laughs> BioGreenSA.com is how you look him up. Frank, uh, Joe at BioGreenSA.com or call 421-9522. 421-9522 and we'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. Now, Morgan's been gone for a while. She? And <laughs> yeah. she's back, and I know you're glad. Y'all are glad she's here, and so am I. <laughs> but um, we want to talk about quick roofing real quick because we have lots of weather here, and we're going to have a lot more to come. So if you'd like your roof looked at and repaired if necessary, call Quick Roofing. They're a trusted KM sponsor because they do work for KM Builders and they do it right. And their number is 817-477-0999 or go to quickroofing.com forward slash San Antonio, Texas. And they have been in business since 1984. That's quickroofing.com slash San Antonio. And so we were talking about backyard remodeling, patios, covers, uh, patios and decks, and then covers over those. We've talked about the big doors that can bring them back and bring it all, make them all one. We've talked about cabanas, multi-use with storage, offices. Um, storage, what I mean is like utility storage. Mm -hmm. You can put anything in there. You can make it a gym, you can make it an office, and then still have that real attractive facade. Maybe it's, maybe it's actually bigger in the back than it is in the front. I love them when the, when the roof slopes up, a, yeah like one direction so that That's it feels really pretty yeah it really looks cool and then you can always put a garage door in there and it'll hide up in there mm -hmm. uh, if you want to close it off and it's all your equipment and patio furniture will last way longer if you can figure out a way that you would like it enclosed we yeah. can figure it out if you're willing to look at it and, and i like what you're saying because you could have like a she shed almost with an attached patio and it could be whatever hobby room or office that you want. That's right, but hobby rooms and offices. It, keep it something that can be used by the whole family too by attaching a longer roof structure over it, and right. whether it's right next to your pool or your deck or whatever. 
Yeah, and that that's really, you know, most people don't just need one of those things. They need, they really would like to have more than one. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they're thinking, well, the only way I'm going to get, I, I want to get my 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 uh, pool project, but that's going to be too much. Well, if you're going to get a pool pot, uh, cabana and an office, mm -hmm. now it starts looking a lot more affordable yeah. because it's a lot less expensive for for each for two of those being combined mm -hmm. than they would be apart. And so you're getting two rooms for the price of maybe one and a half rooms. Yeah. And so then you can justify, well, I'm getting an office or I'm getting a gym or I'm getting a she shed, a uh, hobby room, and I'm getting a cabana or I'm getting a storage building or I'm getting a, maybe an Airbnb room to rent out mm -hmm. out of it. And so there's a lot of ways you can justify the expense of building a beautiful outdoor resort for yourself. That backyard remodeling has so much potential. I mean, you can even do two stories and lofts and, and uh, outdoor patio on top of a roof that actually provides the waterproofing and go up there and have a sun deck on the yeah. second floor. That'd be cool. Oh yeah. And so there's really no limit to what we can uh, design for you. So some people might want that office mm -hmm. or that hobby room, but then they want a sun deck. Mm -hmm. And guess what? The sun deck, you, maybe you don't want all suns, so you put a roof on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so it just keeps on going up, sideways, backwards, forwards, any way you want. Mm -hmm. You know, you you can you can do it. When you're and each property is limited, and we do have to take those into consideration. Mm -hmm. The limitations of your property, the homeowners associations. I can honestly tell you, we've never been turned down once. Well, we have been turned down, but we got them to 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 change it. Change it. Yep. Yeah. And just this year. Yeah, that was no, no, no. That was on the one we did last year. Oh, it was recently. Uh huh. Yeah, it was recent. Yeah. But that was the first time we'd ever been told no, <laughs> and then we said, "What? How could this be a no?" And so we went with the homeowner's permission and all. You know, they went further with it uh, with a little help from us, and they got it approved. So they've got a beautiful cabana mm -hmm. by their pool. Oh, nice. Yeah, remember that one with the uh, with the steel. Oh yeah, that was it. That was That's the one. Right. That was the one yeah. over off of uh, Bitters, right? Yep. Off mm -hmm. of Bitters. Yeah. So that was a beautiful project. It's, it's in our gallery too. You want to see that one? It's yeah. a one single sloped, uh, cabana with an outdoor kitchen in it. Yeah, I think it's in Bluffview Estate. That's right. That's yeah. right. Bluffview. That'll Estates. be the name of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and I was also thinking about like you were saying, all the properties are different. We have several homes in San Antonio and parts of town where your back level is technically a higher level than what your grass is. So two story, two levels of decks is a thing in San Antonio where you make it where it all flows. And if it's planned properly, which we're doing for one couple, adding an outdoor kitchen, expanding the top deck so it flows and the staircase doesn't get in the way but completely attracts the flow of things in the oh, party. Yeah. It, it really, um, it's an architectural, yes. um, what would you say? It, Design. It, well, it's an ar architectural piece of art. Oh yeah. You know, whenever you do these, right? And it flows into the, into the terrain of the land. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of fun designing these projects. We're very creative with all of our, our, our design team and all the experience. I mean, by the way, we have over 700 years combined experience so we can create something really cool that you probably didn't think of or that nobody else did. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can still do that with a budget. Like we always say, you can have anything you want with your budget. You just can't have everything. <laughs> and so keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, that's, that is a wonderful uh, use of, a, of, the, of the existing topography. And one of the things mm -hmm. we do is we scan that. We scan that topography so we know exactly how much it is. We can put all that into CAD drawings and eventually into 3D so that you get an exact look of what you'd be doing in your home. And so you'll know whether it's worth it to you or not. Mm -hmm. And so before we go on a break, I want to mention uh, our sponsor, Frank. Frank's Paint and Body Shop. Frank Machaca has worked on our Lexus, my Hellcat, and one other vehicle. What was it? Your truck? Yeah, three vehicles. <laughs> so he's worked. Oh, and then he's probably going to work on my boat real soon, too. Oh. So that'll be four. So, yeah, if you'd like, and, and you know me, I'm picky. I'm uh, particular hmm. about how, how it gets done. 
and lots of details, so I recommend Frank highly. He works on Lexus at Dominion, so that's how, um, that's not how I found him, but I found out that he worked there also. And I got recommended by somebody who really, really um, works on high-end vehicles. And that's Frank Menchaca at 210-927-3410. 927-3410 Frank's Paint and Body Shop and we'll be right back to the K&M Builders Remodeling and Design Show. And welcome back to the K&M Builders Remodeling and Design Show and we are talking about backyard remodeling. Yes, Morgan's back. We are talking about backyard remodeling. We've talked about decks and patios made out of concrete and other surfaces, covers, um, Coming off the house, we've talked about cabanas, we've talked about gazebos. So basically anything you want, connecting those with big doors and closing them with big doors, screens, systems. And they've even got these drop curtain systems now mm -hmm. that, that just drop down for shade. They also keep heat in whenever you're um, cold. So you can put your heaters on and they'll just drop down automatic. I think those are really cool. They have tracks on the side and they drop down tight to the surface. So what else do you think that means if you drop those? No mosquitoes. That's right, it <laughs> keeps out all the bugs. Yep. And uh, those are really, really nice. They shade beautifully. They allow your fans to do a better job. And if you have a misting system or an AC system out there, it's actually gonna work real well. And these, again, these misting system, these air conditioning systems, they atomize the water it's like 10,000 PSI, and so it evaporates before it touches you. We're not talking about the kind that get you wet. We're talking about the ones that evaporate before it touches you, and the air is 10 to 20 degrees cooler in the summer. So these can really be things that you can have in your patio. If you want that, why not start planning for it? Why not start having designs done? That's what KM Builders does. We design these for you, and they can be extremely high-end, or they can be very, very reasonably priced. It really depends on what your needs are and how far you want to go this year. But if you if you do, call them. Um, you know, just call us and we'll do that. I forgot to mention my my new sponsor, Huey Wilson, over at Certified Small Engine. And he's doing a great job. I just got an X mark that is incredible. And I will. <laughs> yeah. I, I called him Huey, didn't yes. I? Yes. Highwell, uh, I oh saw his name. He's Highwell, <laughs> yeah. And he's at 7510 Tesla Road, and he's at 210-523-1138. He's gonna laugh when I miss said his name. <laughs> I guess I just wrote it wrong. And then yeah, I'm I think like, so. Highwell, I mean, you know, he, he, I just saw him this last weekend. <laughs> Yeah, that's where I got my beautiful mower. And he's got the, all kinds of equipment. If you want one like mine with the twin cutting blades, and it sounds like a helicopter when it starts those blades. And we were doing that, that man thing this weekend, weren't we? Yes. <laughs> Jared and me and my dad. And who else was back there? Mark and Ted. Oh, yeah. They were all over there. They were like, wow, that thing's going to fly off. Yeah. The thing was, it's incredible. But, but go to certifiedsmallengine.com. And, uh, you know, set up an appointment to go with him, have your your equipment maintained by him like I do, or buy new equipment. And uh, that's what <laughs> I him. do. And I've done that a few times there, too. So I'm glad to have him as a sponsor now because he's somebody that I really like, and you will, too. CertifiedSmallEngine.com. And so just go ahead and, and talking about this, these one area that we didn't talk about in uh, the backyard remodeling is outdoor kitchens. Mm-hmm. And they kind of vary in popularity from time to time, but they're always gonna have some popularity, kind of like pools. Outdoor kitchens are like pools. Some people like them, some people don't. But the majority of people would rather have one than not. Yes. In both cases. I mean, the majority of people want a pool, they just don't wanna pay for it. And the majority of people would like a really nice outdoor kitchen. You know, if they didn't have to pay for it, they'd for sure have one. <laughs> well, when you're building your outdoor oasis, you really want to think ahead about outdoor kitchens. And when, there's different levels of that. You know, some people right. don't want it because they don't want to be confined to a certain barbecue pit. Uh, like you. You have four or five different barbecue pits that you want to be able to choose from. But if I told you, you know, let's put an island out here that has a sink and a beverage 
center and refriger refrigerators and things like that. And then behind you, you have all your grills. And that kind of is what you do yeah. instead of having all the built-in. So Yeah, that's that's a very good point, Morgan. You don't have to have everything built in just no. because you're not your kitchen. Mm -hmm. You might, like you said, just have an island with some of the components you want. Yeah. <clears throat> It beats Six. that big old refrigerator sticking out like a sore thumb on your uh -huh. patio if you can have that built in. Yeah, and have all your barbecue equipment out there and you clean it outside mm -hmm. and store it outside in that island with the storage. That would just, be really nice. Just smoked two briskets last weekend and we had people over and the more yeah. you can do outside, the better it is. I cut the brisket outside. I smoked it outside. The only thing you couldn't do was clean it outside. No, that's right. And mm -hmm. if I had that outdoor kitchen finished that we're going to have, yep. it would have been cleaning it all up outside too. Yeah. And so, you know, think about what you want and start planning for it by having designs done. Mm -hmm. You know, we have, we do partner with a person who does some specialty outdoor kitchens and we will recommend him to see if that's the level of product you want. He uses a uh, precast concrete that is insulated against uh, any type of heat and then we can put your veneer once since we work together on your mm -hmm. project he's got good deals on grills and so forth too and and he'll help you select those but um, what we'll do is we'll combine that with the architecture of your home as well as the finishes on the walls that you may be having on your patio maybe it's Maybe you're matching the brick or the stone on your home, or maybe it's matching the black stone on your patio mm -hmm. that you're walking on. So all of these things can be done with good designs. And it doesn't cost much more to have it done right than to have some something that looks like it was built separately. Yeah. And so that's, that's really gonna be worth it in the resale whenever you have it custom built for your needs. You're gonna find out that the generic ones are usually not gonna work for you as well as you thought. You get out there and you uh, you need someone with experience that can tell you think about this and think about that and you know even the prevailing winds um, that's probably not a good area it's going to blow in your face <laughs> and if you just get anybody just anybody out there they can do it but you're going to probably not use it yeah. is the problem and when you hire someone like us to do even a patio cover or something like that we also include things like where do you want your outlets? You want an outlet so you can hang a TV or That's lights right. and string lights. All of those are little details that we add on to make it an even better project and more usable. Yeah, and I'll say that those, those things, we don't just offer them because we're gonna make money on them. <laughs> we offer them because you can get them right then and there yes. for a whole lot less and enhance your project. Mm -hmm. Whether that be speaker systems, whether that be lighting, whether oscillating that be fans. Oscillating fans, even air conditioning systems. Yeah. We're willing to, to do that. In fact, some of those products don't really add a lot of, of pro profit to us. Yeah. We just want to make sure that you're getting that, that project done the right way. Whether that's screening or whether it's a, a automatic screening systems mm -hmm. that you, you press a button and they go down. Whatever it is, I mean, we want to be able to give you that complete design and give you, make sure that you've had the choices. And that's what we're known for, menu pricing at KM Builders, and we're known for incredible designs. And I just want to mention before we leave, my sponsor, Rio Medina Truck and Auto Repair and Marine, where my jet boat got fixed and your car, your truck, your hot rod, your jet boat, your regular boat, family boat, can be repaired as well. Call my friend Mickey at 830-931-9060. That's 830-931. 9060 or go to Rio Medina Auto, um, excuse me, Rio Medina Truck Auto Repair.com and follow us on Facebook and on Instagram and see the cool things we've got showing up on videos. If you're not watching our videos, you're really missing out. Definitely. And, and so just check up on the latest videos there or go to our website. You can see them there as well. But if you if you sign up for Facebook, or Instagram, you're gonna get those regularly and they're fun to watch. I'm telling you, there's been some hilarious ones too yeah. uh, lately and just some really incredible ones. So kudos to to Sarah and Alexis and Morgan for all they and do Justin. and Justin, what a, what a creative artist. We have all these creative artists in our company. Thank you so much for all you do and thank you for joining us today on the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show where we have design, design experience. experience. <laughs> so you can experience the design.